Well, hello, friends. It is so good again to see you this week. Thank you so much for joining me, Pastor Zach, for this week's children's sermon. As always, I want you to find that comfortable spot inside or outside. As you can see, I'm outside this evening um, because it is such a beautiful week and it's a little bit warm, so it's nice to get outside when I didn't necessarily think we could uh, in October. So find that comfortable spot. And when you get there, let's take that deep breath in and deep breath out together. Ready? One, two, three, in. Hold it and out. I'm just so grateful that you've joined me today to be reminded that with the breath of life, that breath that we take in and out, that we are to praise God. And we are to praise God in all ways and in all ways that we can come outside and praise God. That we can love God and neighbor by being a part of creation and by caring for each other. And as I sit outside tonight, I can't help but hear all the creatures. And I just heard some birds over, over top here in the sky. And just what a beautiful creation God has made. And we don't normally do uh, children's sermons at night. Uh, so you might be watching this in the morning, but you could also watch it at night. And it's a reminder that God is in the darkness to provide that light for us, that God still moves and works and is active, as we can hear with all the critters and creatures around us, that the nighttime is a time of, of creativity, is a time of abundance as well, and is a time of just really cool things happening. So I want us to read about that, and I would like us to start in Genesis. So let's, let's take a look to hear what it says. In Genesis 1, it says, And God said that there, let there be lights in the dome of the sky to separate the day from the night, and let them be for, let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years, and let them be lights in the dome of the sky to give light upon the earth. And it was so. God made the two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night and the stars. God set them in the dome of the sky to give light upon the earth, to rule over the day and over the night and to separate the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening and there was morning the fourth day. So here in the fourth day of creation, God is telling us that God is in the midst of the light and the darkness, between the dusk and the dawn when it might not be fully light, or as you can see, there's still a little bit of blue in the sky. It's not entirely dark yet here. But then I hope you can go outside, if you're watching this in the morning, to go outside and look at the bright sky, but then also to go out at night and see the stars and to see the abundance and beauty of God's creation, how vast it is that the God who created all that we see also created us and loves us so much. God created the darkness and the light. God gave the moon and the sun and the stars to rule over the sky to provide light for us. And God saw that it was good. God saw that it was good. And then to fill that day and night, God also did this. And God said, Let the earth bring forth living creatures of every kind, cattle and creeping things and wild animals of the earth of every kind. And it was so. God made the wild animals of the earth of every kind and the cattle of every kind and everything that creeps upon the ground of every kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let us make humankind in our image according to our likeness. How wonderful it is that in creation, God created everything. That from all the sounds we hear from when we talk to other humans, but also the sounds of crickets or when you see bats or if you maybe see an insect or whatever it might be that God created them. Now that doesn't mean we have to like them, but that means God created them. 
and that's just so beautiful for us, beautiful for us, especially because this Sunday we're going to be blessing the animals, which is which means that you are invited to bring your pet, if you have a dog or a cat or something that be can, that can be carried in a cage, to bring it to church, and we're gonna we're gonna bless them because we know that God gives us the gift of animals and pets and the gift of caring and uh being and and being with each other um and it's also fun to see how our pets react with each other and to show them off sometimes because we love them so much if you don't have a pet then i invite you to bring a stuffed animal or something else that you would want to be blessed uh, to have blessed because our families are what we make them they're chosen and biological and we can we can do so many amazing things when we are so loved because God so loves us. So I sit outside tonight to tell you, as always, that you are loved and you are enough and that nothing can separate you from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. And you are loved and you are enough and that means that other person that you're looking at might is also loved and enough. And that might even mean that that little insect, that creeping thing, as it says in Genesis, is also loved because it's a creature of God. It's been made by God. And God wants us to live in harmony and in communion with creation. And that's what we give thanks for this Sunday as we bless the animals and we give thanks for the birds in the sky, the uh the animals on the ground, our four-legged friends or our swimming friends who might be our pets at home. And if you can't bring a pet, maybe you can bring a picture and we can bless them that way. Friends, it's just always a good reminder that God is doing amazing and wonderful and good things all the time. Whether that's during the day when you might be able to see or whether that's at night when it's the sun as the sun goes down and the moon comes out the moon lights our path to see what god is up to but it's also a beautiful reminder that we can just close our eyes and open our ears to hear to hear what god is doing that there is stuff going on around us all the time and that it is a gift and a joy and it is it is love that brings us all together so for an evening prayer, I would like to turn to uh, what Luther, Martin Luther, who is what we name our Lutheran church after, he writes this prayer to say at night. So let us pray. I give thanks to you, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously protected me today. I ask you to forgive me all my sins where I have done wrong and graciously to protect me tonight. And to your hands I commend myself, my body, my soul, and all that is mine. Let your holy angel be with me, so that the wicked foe may have no power over me. Amen. Friends, may you have a great day, a good night. If you're watching this at night, sleep well. And I look forward to seeing you on Sunday as we bless the animals, whether that's a stuffed animal or you bring your pet or you bring a picture. It can be a time to be together, to share in the love that God has given us because friends, you are loved and you are enough. I'll look forward to seeing you on Sunday. And if not, I'll see you back here next Thursday. Take good care. Bye-bye.